baby items, baby clothes, nursery room, so many things to shop for when it comes to having a baby. And so many of those things are cute and itty bitty and teeny tiny and just so fun to pick out. But there's a whole nother topic that we need to talk about and that is postpartum care, focusing on the mom herself who has just had a baby. This is my fifth baby and so I feel like I kind of know what I'm talking about for the most part, when it comes to taking care of the mom's body after she's had a baby. So there's a lot of items I wanna go through today that I believe are very important for moms to have. I will try and leave all the links in the description below. I also have several discount codes that I will mention throughout the video for certain products. Before I jump into it, I asked on Instagram, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word postpartum? And the first one that I read, I just like wanted to start crying already. Um, someone said, sacrifice. It is a huge sacrifice to have babies. It's not easy on the body. It's not, it's just not easy. It's hard work, but it does take a lot of sacrifice. Um, big honking pads, bleeding, hemorrhage, depression, um, how hard it is comfy pants, bleeding, mesh underwear. And then someone says, the cute little baby is finally out. Just heal, sweet girl, soak it all in and heal. I thought that was really sweet. So I have everything laid out here, not in any particular order or anything. And I am gonna focus a lot today on moms who are specifically nursing or breastfeeding. I know not every mom nurses and that's totally fine. I've talked a lot about Infamil and having formula on hand and I think that is very important as well. Okay, the first thing that we are going to talk about are nursing bras. I've had a lot of people say, oh, I just use regular bras and I just like pull it down. I think that's uncomfortable, especially the very first few weeks months when you're really engorged and you are a lot bigger than normal um, I think a good nursing bra is important this is the one I've had for quite a while with a few of my babies it is by cake it's not my favorite just because there's no padding at all and so I only like to wear this at night it's comfortable but it's also a sports back I'm also not a huge fan of the razor back like that because then you have to pull it up over your head you can't just put it around your arms and if you're really engorged and big it's hard to pull it up over yourself and so I don't love those kind of backs they are not my favorite I've had this one from Kindred Bravely and I just got a black one this is from Lucy and now I have a black one as well I really like these ones because there is a little bit of padding in them they are sewn in so you don't have to worry about them getting like all moved around when you wash and dry them so they just clip on the sides and they snap in the back so I really like these ones this is another one from Kindred Bravely it looks it is like very super soft like buttery soft um, super stretchy feeling it snaps in the back like I like it to it has some pads in there and it snaps on both sides to pull down so I think this looks like it'll be a really good one and then this one is by Larkin and there's no padding in this one whatsoever so I think this is going to be a really good one for sleeping at nighttime and when it comes to pumping we're gonna show you this so one side comes down and you lift up the bottom layer like that. And then on this side, you can pull this side up and pull this side down. So it goes like that. And the reason why they do that is so you can pump like that, and then you can put the other pump on the other side and it stays. So it's a hands-free pumping bra, and it's really stretchy, or you can just pull all the way down like that. Nursing pads, very important if you are nursing. I'm not a huge fan of the Lancinol or like plasticky ones. If you look at them, you can hear it. There's like sticker things you have to like peel off. And I don't like the feel of these when they get wet. You have to replace them really often. These are not my favorite. I don't know the brand of these, but they're not my favorite either. I had these for the first few of my babies. It's cotton on both sides. And so they will leak through. I've used them, they just, they would leak through. These ones are by Kindred Bravely. And let me show you why I love these ones. This is the side you put up against yourself. And on this side, there's just a little bit of a silky material that you won't leak through. So there's no leaking with these. They are big enough, round enough, and you just wash them and dry them and you can reuse them. So I love these ones, they are my favorite. My discount code for Kindred Bravely is Daru Crew 20 
I have heard many people say, if you are nursing correctly or if the baby latch is correct, you should not bleed or crack and whatever. I don't know if that's true or not, but I have cracked and bled with every one of my babies that I've nursed at least in the first week or two. And so a lot of people use nipple cream and that's what I've used in the past. This is Earth Mama. I don't know if it's anything special. Lancinol is also another really popular one. You can get that as a sample at your, at the hospital. But I am excited to try these out. This is called Silverette and they are little silver cups <laughs> that you place over your nipples and put under your bra. They are made out of pure 925 silver. And so I'm really excited to try these out where it's just like more of a natural, um, way of healing and preventing. All right, let's talk about pumping next. I have had several different type of breast pumps before and they're usually a big bulky box with lots of cords and wires and you have to plug it in and it's a pain. And I think the only baby I did not pump with was Lucy. I don't think I had a pump last time. And I was kind of miserable. I remember thinking I need to be able to relieve myself. I wanted to be able to save some milk and she was the only baby that wouldn't really take a bottle of very well and so I looked into different pumps and there was a few popular ones that were hands-free and they were so expensive they were so expensive this is from mommy cozy and so I will leave a link down in the description below so I I got two of them there's this one out of the box and this one is in the box um, you can just get one if you want pump on one side and then pump on the other side but you charge it with just like a USB cable is how you charge it and then you just take this part and put it directly on you and I showed you earlier you can use this under your bras and the buttons are on the top so you can increase the amount of pressure you can hear that so it just sucks it down into this cup right here you pop the top off and this comes off it's just like a silicone so you can like wash it and stuff you can pour the milk into a cup but like that's really all it is like i feel like that is so simple so easy to use compared to all of these other ones with big like bags that you have to carry around so then you just kind of push that back up against the edge and it seals it or you know there's a hole right there i think you can even pour it into your bottle or you can pour it into breast milk storage bags. Um, these are for Mommy Cozy as well. And then you just pop this back on the top like that and you're good to go again. So I'm really excited to try these out so that I have extra milk stored up in case I have to leave the house and someone else needs to watch the baby or in an emergency I've got the milk. I just, I'm really excited to use these especially with where they are so convenient. My discount code for this is Julie10 and I will have a link down in the description below. And I'm gonna get these charged up, ready to go, so when I have the baby I can start pumping at the hospital and hopefully that will increase my milk production earlier than if I were to just wait. I almost forgot to show this as well. So I have never heard of this product before until recently and now all of a sudden I feel like this product is everywhere. This is called the Haka. You could call it a breast pump but I think of it more as a milk collector. So a lot of times I will be nursing the baby on one side but the other side is leaking a bunch of milk. So what you do is you feed the baby on one side and you open this up. So you open it up, you squeeze it, put it on, release and it suctions to you, like I don't have to hold it. So when you're feeding the baby on this side, this catches all of the letdown on the other side. And so I'm excited to try this out to save a little bit of milk while I am nursing on the other side. This is called a Haka. I feel like I just spent a lot of time talking about nursing and nursing products, and that sounds overwhelming, but I promise you it is so worth it. I love nursing my babies, and I know it doesn't work out for everyone, and that's okay. As long as your baby is fed and happy, then that's all that matters. Now, time for some not-so-fun topics as we go towards the other side of the body here. Whether you have had a C-section or a vaginal delivery, you will still have bleeding. I've never had a C-section, but that is what I've heard. The one product I do not have here with me is a peri bottle. A lot of people go out and buy their own. I don't think it's necessary. I think the ones that the hospital prov provide you are good enough. I had a bidet with my last baby and I'm 
attempted to get another bidet because we are now in a different house and that one ended up leaking. Anyway, it was really convenient to have a bidet, but some kind of a peri bottle that the hospital gives you so you can squirt water down in that area. Um, another one of my favorite things that the hospital will give you, but I buy my own because I go through a lot of them, are the Tux medicated cooling pads. Hemorrhoidal pad with witch hazel. This helps with the inflammation, cooling. Um, you can lay these down onto your pads and then or even kind of like wipe with them just a little bit so I really like these to help cool and decrease inflammation believe it or not I have not even had my baby and my flipping hemorrhoids are already back I haven't even pushed yet and I have hemorrhoids <laughs> anyway preparation H ointment is a really good thing to have on hand as well this is dermaplast pain relieving spray this is an old bottle this was actually Landon's he had it in his med pack for athletic training purposes so I took it from him the hospital should provide some of this as well it provides fast relief of itch and pain you just spray it down in that area wet wipes I'm already buying wet wipes for the baby so I don't buy special wet wipes for me um, I just don't flush these down the toilet. I just put in them in the garbage can so I don't ruin my toilet because it's cheaper to buy the normal wet wipes than it is to buy like the Cottonelle flushable wipes. I just think these work better and that's what I do. I also think out of respect, it is nice to have either like a Lysol wipe or a paper towel, a cleaning spray, because you never know what you're going to do to the toilet in the bathroom. And if you're like me and you don't have a master bathroom and you use the same bathroom that everyone does in the house, you're going to have visitors, guests, kids, um, husband, and you want to clean up after yourself if you make a mess. So have these on hand so you can clean up the toilet before you leave the bathroom. So when your guests come, they're not surprised by any being on the toilet. This is a fun topic. Let's talk about pads and underwear. What I've used in the past and what I don't love. I bought these when I was pregnant with Emma. They are men's underwear and I thought, oh, they'll be wider on the crotch area. Uh, I can fit a pad in there, but they're still just not comfortable. Um, and I don't love using these. They just slide around, they don't stick in the underwear, or you bleed out on the sides, and it's just, I don't know, not my favorite. So I'm doing two different things this time. I bought some underwear. Yes, padded underwear. So this is what it looks like. And I think these are going, I've already tried it on. <laughs> and they're already a lot more comfortable than the regular underwear. And it has the built-in pad for you. And you just throw this directly into the garbage can. The hospital will provide mesh underwear with the big long pads. And that's great for the first like few days after you have a baby. But I'm going to try using these for the like the week following after I have the baby. Just so I don't have to worry about doing laundry. And then I just throw them away when I'm done. And after I'm done using these, let me show you what I'm going to use. This is period underwear by Lilova. I've used their period underwear before I got pregnant with this baby and I love them. They were a game changer. These are perfect for teenagers, um, preteens, girls who are about to start but haven't yet. Um, it's a great as a backup if you use tampons or the cup. But I am excited to use these for postpartum. So I got a size up. They have lots of different styles like hip huggers, bikinis, high rise. And so it's a built in pad like that. You bleed directly into this and then you wash it in cold water and let them air dry. So I've got a black pair as well. Um, I've tried them on for size reference. These are mediums and they fit me really well right now and I feel like they will still fit me well after I have the baby. So I'm going to be using these and I don't have to worry about putting like pads in and stuff. So I'm excited to try those out and I know I'm going to like them because I liked having them before I even got pregnant. Julie20 is my discount code for these, so I will leave that in the description for you as well. A few other things that I've thrown in this pile after you have a baby, you wanna keep your hair pulled back and feel somewhat cute and decent, so I put in a cute little scrunchie and a headband, and you probably aren't gonna to wanna to do a whole face of makeup, but just a little bit of color on your lips will make you feel just a little bit brighter and put together. My lips will get really dry. I've been using this for almost a year and I still have a ton of it. It has lasted so long. This is by Laneige. 
I use this every night before I go to bed and I love this lip balm. Might wanna suck on some mints if your mouth gets dry or stinky, either one. The next thing I have in my pile is a handkerchief because you never know when you're gonna cry. You are gonna probably cry a lot. Wipe away those tears. Let's talk about postpartum clothing items. This is from Kindred Bravely. I'm wearing it right now. It is so comfy. These are their pajamas. I think it's made out of like bamboo. The bottoms are really stretchy. Um, buttons and buttons for easy access for nursing. Um, I think a comfy pair of jammies is important. This is just a gown. If you've had a C-section and you don't want to wear pants, um, this is a great option as well. I don't think it's necessary that you have your own hospital gown, but I think it's a lot of fun and I think it's really pretty. This is from Kindred Bravely. It Velcros in the front and on the shoulders for IV access and there's access on the back for epidural. I will probably talk about this again in what's in my hospital bag. But some of my favorite clothing obviously is from Bali Brand. My two sisters have the best robe that they have created and I think no matter what clothes you have on under or no clothes on under, if you're getting hot and you just want a little robe, this is the perfect one. I wear this all the time. And I like the length of the sleeves. I like the thickness of it. There's a pocket on both sides. And this is my absolute favorite robe that I've ever had. And there's some pretty colors to choose from. But if you're wanting more of like a cute sweat outfit, these velvet pants are perfect. They're kind of like a pre length and they're velvety, they've got ruffles on the pockets, and they are super soft and stretchy, perfect for postpartum and pregnancy, or just every day, and these tops are long enough, I feel like, but not too long, which I really like. So those are from Bali brand. My discount code for that is Julie10. The last thing I'm going to talk about is mom's health. It is so important to continue taking your prenatal vitamins even after you've had your baby. So keep those on hand. Have ibuprofen on hand as well. When you're nursing, if you're a first time mom, you might not have been told this, but you will get contractions. Your uterus will continue to contract as you are nursing. So you're, you might want to take ibuprofen before you nurse for that reason. And then some stool softeners, which I need to start taking right now. I should have been taking this a while ago. Drink lots and lots of water. The last thing I want to talk about is your nutrition, especially if you're nursing, you are going to need extra calories, good healthy calories. And I wish Landon was here to explain this stuff. He works with the doctor who created this, Dr. Bigman, and it is so good for you. Let me just read the back in case you guys have any questions. It's non-GMO, gluten-free, no soy, no added sugars, no artificial sweeteners. No artificial ingredients. It's got high fiber, protein powder, keto friendly. It's really good and healthy for you. And I know this is going to be perfect to keep my milk production up and to keep my tummy full and satisfied. So I'm going to be keeping this on hand definitely. And our discount code for this is Daru10 as well. Um, and I've already mentioned lots of water. So I hope this video helps you, especially if you're a first time mom, or even if you've had a few babies, or if you are a friend or a family member of someone who's going to be having a baby, you can have a little bit more sympathy towards them because you are now realizing how much it really goes into just taking care of the mom. Another thing that I um, don't have here, haven't really talked about, is depression. I've been fortunate enough not to really deal with too much of the postpartum depression, but I know that's really common. And so for those people, I just wanna say, have a great support system, have someone you can talk to. And um, having babies is not easy, but good luck to all of you moms out there. It is a wonderful thing to be able to do to bring kids into this world. So thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'm probably gonna go off and snuggle my baby because by the time you see this, I'll probably have a baby in my